this video, model data with linear functions and make predictions. I know many of you use my um, smart slides when I convert into PDFs to help you to take some notes. So this uh, word problem um, has a lot of words on it, so I kind of helped you out. I'm going to walk you through it, and uh, feel free to kind of highlight, um, pause, do what you need to do. All right, so here's our example. We have used the data points um, 317,57.04 and 354,57.64 to obtain a linear function, so a line. Um, that represents the model's average of global temperature. So we're going to make a function. Um, so you can go ahead and read that. And our, we have our slope and y stuff that we're going to find. So step one, we want you to find the equation of a line by first finding its slope. So we have an ordered pair here. We have an ordered pair here. So if you remember, slope is found by taking the change in y over the change in x. So I'm going to go ahead and call these my ordered pairs um, x1 and y1 and x2 and y2. And now I substitute it into this slope equation. So I have my y sub 2 minus my y sub 1 over my x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Now I reduce that, and I get an answer with three significant digits of 0 0.016. So slope is positive. When we go out and graph this, we should see um, not a very steep line since the slope is so small. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and substitute it into the point slope formula. So that's the next piece. So point slope formula, if you remember, is y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. So it doesn't matter which point that you choose. If you choose um, this first point or the second point, it doesn't matter. You'll still get the same solution. So what um, we did is we just took this first point and we substituted it along with our slope. And this is uh, essentially here's your y sub 1, here's your slope, here's your x sub 1. And then you'll see this, the steps follow through where we distribute in to give you 0.016x uh, minus 5.664. And then we add um, this negative 57.64 to the other side. So here is your equation in slope intercept form, and then we just rounded it to the nearest um, ones place there. All right, so now we have our linear model. When you do a linear model, remember it's y equals mx plus b. So we write it as a function, passes that vertical line test. All right, so that is how you can come up with your function. Now you can go out and graph it, or you can graph the order of pairs. All right, step two, use the function to make a pre prediction. So it says we have 600 parts per million given, and we want to find out uh, what will be our global temperature. So you're going to substitute 600 in for x. So you substitute it in and you simplify it, and you get 61.6. So it's saying then that the temperature of concentration of 600 parts per million would be 61.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're making predictions from that model if you assume that it continues to increase at that rate. 